Hey, double hey, San Francisco Bay, Monterey. My name is Alexander. And I'm Dr. Shasta. And we're here with Your Healthy Living. Yes. It's been a long season. It has. We've been having, yeah, actually, we've had several seasons. We're on uh, KYSRadio.com. Check us out. Yeah. And of course, we're on Facebook. We're live right now. Hello, everybody out there in Facebook land. Hello. Um, and we're on Channel 15 at oh, 6.30 Monday I nights. I always forget that. 6.30 Monday Here if you want to watch San us Jose. on TV. Those, those are some shows that are a little bit are... behind when, you know, we've done those a few, because, you know, we can only do one show a week. Right. And we've done over 50 shows now, I think. I think we're going to be at 60. Are we? Mm-hmm. Holy mackerel. And they're really great shows. You know, I will have to say, we have some really great, I mean, talk about That's fitting into very... the Kindness in Your Soul Network. You yeah, know, every the... single person was yes. is really doing something out of their passion and commitment to making the world a better place, especially in the area of health, wealth, and self. I will have to say, if, you know, if, <laughs> if you've ever watched talk shows of, of late, and maybe it's just because sometimes I tune into the wrong channels, you know, you kind of feel a little aggravated after a talk show. But here, when you're, t- you're listening to Your Healthy Living on KIYS, everybody's all like, zen at the end of the program, yeah, right? right. It I is. know, and they don't really seem nervous. But you have a way no. of making people feel more relaxed. You know, they kind of talk about it a little bit, yeah. but about halfway into the show, they're kind of like, oh, wow, this is just yeah. like sitting in the living room having, know. You know, having a conversation. I mean, we've had some amazing people. We've had Christopher Hobbs, who talked all about the power of mushrooms. Yeah, that was a cool that show. That was very, now, very that cool. Was a, that was a web show. Uh, that Zoom was a show. Zoom. Zoom show, yeah. We've had, yeah. Uh, we had a doula on here who helps deliver moms, uh, yeah. be their their birthing partner. And I'd never heard of an of a doula. I've said an a doula. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I didn't You'd never heard of that. it. But I've hear, heard it on the radio. People go, oh, we have doulas at the hospital. I'm like. Yeah. We had holistic had um, fertility specialist, MD, uh, Dr. Elisa Yao. Yes. Very extraordinary. Well, she was one of our first guests. Yeah. She was I one believe. of our first. We yes. had Anne Roman, the Groovy Mystics, the, the, the you know, internationally renowned Yeah, that was kind of trippy. Psychic. I was, I, it kind of got me back into believing that some people can actually Yeah, she has things. that gift. Yeah. Randy Hold, the Emotional Integrative Hypnotherapist, yep. very powerful. And yep. we're going to have um, Dr. Lona Larsh on today. She's a uh, holistic MD and one of the one of the main ones in the Bay Area. So I'm really excited she's coming. Oh, oh, we're going to have her on the next show. Uh huh. On our oh, next on show the after next this. Show. That's right. And we had we just we just had a number. We have uh, Kevin Walchman, the Karate People. That Charles was fun. We had the two karate Janelle, guys. the Pilates, and I mean. And it's been singers. really remarkable. We I, had the singers. I will have to say, though, my, my favorite guest was <laughs> of all. You know what I'm going to say? I know who. And I got a fan in there just <laughs> from him, the bulb guy. Oh, we love the bulb guy. Oh, that was fun. Yes, he is awesome. I, I do, by the way, if I, I do still wear the shades. The and we shades. are going, and, and the miracle of the bulb guy show was that St. Jude's Hospital saw our show. Oh, they did? And they want to make his bulb show, his bulb program every single spring be their charity event no kidding their spring charity event well because that's who he was giving his money to he was giving you know and he didn't have a lot that he was given but now that they're going to send a lot more people he was literally moved to tears that's really cool they watched our show they were so inspired i I know we made a difference and then four and a half and then we also had the um veterans project Lady. Oh yeah, down in Remember? Orange County. Yeah, you the know, free acupuncture on Veterans to go Day. See her. We get down there. She's so, much. so amazing. Yeah, that was really cool. That was a great show too. And we had it's, Lissa Wells, who is the uh, the weight loss cleansing coach. I don't coach. know how you remember all these names. <laughs> I know these people and Jackie and Brown and Sarah Fields. Remember the couple? Feel, remember know, the couple in the Appalachian I, I, Mountains? What was that romper room? Romper stomper domper do? I see. I see. <laughs> I remember everybody. We're, they it, were all yes, fabulous. They were great. And, La- and, and Laura. The, the little elf. And, and we're going to have a great show today talking with Shasta, Dr. Shasta. We'll finally do that. At Way of Wellness, we help to rebalance the hormones of your body so that it can heal itself. Way of Wellness offers acupuncture, Chinese medicine, functional nutrition, chi yoga, and wellness coaching. Call 408-615-1995 and start living the life that keeps us well. Hey, 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 everybody. My name's Alex Andrew. And I'm Dr. Shasta. And we're back with Your Healthy Living on a wonderful 
June day. It's nice and beautiful yeah, out here in super sunny warm. California. It's finally summer. San Jose. I love it. And uh, for those of you who don't know, my lovely host here, Dr. Shasta, is a very accomplished, like, second generation or third generation. I don't know what it is. Doctor uh, of acupuncture. Doctor of acupuncture. Yes. yes. And um, it's been really cool having her here as a co-host because she's so into the Chinese medicine. Mm -hmm. uh, which, of course, is part of what acupuncture is, yeah. it, 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 part of that field, right? Yeah, acupuncture I mean, is a part of Chinese medicine. Right. Um, I'm a doctor of acupuncture and oriental medicine. And oriental medicine, the same thing as Chinese medicine, is made up of five components. Um, acupuncture is one of them. Herbs is another one. Nutrition is another one. Exercise and massage. So that's so it's so it's actually the five oldest natural uh, medicines make up Chinese or Oriental medicine, and we are primary care providers in the state of California. We actually have the highest education and training in America here in California, and we um, we can treat uh, Western ailments um, using the same codes, um, but we do diagnose in a, uh, using chi traditional Chinese medicine. You know, and this here's the thing that I find. And, and I never really thought about it until, you know, we kind of met. We started talking about this. There's 5,000 years of testing and history and using this stuff on people. Yeah, and, and over a billion people use this around the world. It is the oldest medicines. The, what did, um, the legends say that the medicine started 10,000 years ago in Tibet. And then branched off to Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic medicine. And Ayurve Tibet, Ayurvedic really? medicine is in uh, India. And they speak some of the same languages as, as we do, that we look at the body like it's a part of nature, that we have the elements of nature in our body, wood, fire, metal, earth, and water. And in Ayurvedic medicine, they have vata, pitta, kapha, air, fire, water. And some of those are made up of two, two um, elements. So these older medicines look at the body almost like a gardener would look at a plant. There may be a tall, thin a body, a body type that that might get brittle and dry, and be more anxious and needs more oil and moistening product, foods and and supplements. And then there might be somebody who's big and kind of sluggish and 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 sweats a lot, and they have too much water, and we need to we need to dry, dry them out. So we look at the body just like we would a part of nature, and we use parts of nature to help heal the body naturally. Now, it's, it's so you were just saying India. Um, Tibet, China, uh, they're all, and of course this is me as, as the ignorant person about what goes on over there, but a lot of that seems to be more along the line of, of, of kind of a Taoist Buddhist belief. Yeah, but the, Taoism the, is, is uh, Chinese Taoism. medicine did come out of Taoism, oh, the okay. whole yin and yang symbol, right. where the yin, which is the dark half of that circle with a little white spot, that's yin always has a little bit of yang. The white represents mm -hmm. uh, yang, and the white side is yang with a little bit of yin. In other words, we always we all have a little bit of each other. Um, it's a man is more yang, a female is more yin, and and ha being in balance and harmony with your body type, where you live, your environment, your seasons. That's what they believe creates health. And I think one of the things that, you know, when I wrote my book years ago, one of the things that I always thought was cool, and of course I sound more like kind of a Texas guy because I say yin and yang, but it's yang, right? I think you can say it either way. You can? It's fine. Well, you've always said it that way and I always kind of felt like a <laughs> Texas draw, but it's the complete circle. So, mm -hmm. you know, we need. I think we need a, a, a balance. Right. It's really, and that's kind of what Chinese medicine is yeah, about, right? Is. Really balancing things out, not having too much, like you said, too much water, not too being too dry, dry, too much inflammation. Right. Yeah. Too much male, too much female. Exactly. And, and in this fast paced, hard driven society that we're in, which is a yang characteristic, the going, 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 right, right. being up long, not sleeping a lot, um, spicy, greasy foods, uh, a lot of meat is more yang. Um, what a lot of what's going on in America is 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 the yin is becoming depleted, and the yin is the is the quiet, dark, intuitive, and more feminine side right. to both that we all have in us, and and that's part of what I believe is part of the epidemic problem with um, with fertility in our country. Uh, one in five couples are struggling with infertility, and I do specialize in that, and it's a great passion of mine. And what I mainly do is help people. Um, calm down and and uh, restore their yin. One of my 
my favorite little success stories. That is she cool. was 42 and she had her little baby naturally after having struggled with polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is an endocrine hormone imbalance. And um, we helped her lose weight. We helped her get in balance and be able to conceive naturally. I do believe um, fertility is natural. And the more our body is in balance, the more chance we will have to right. conceive, right. as well as keep the babies, not have miscarriages. So. That is like one of my number one passions is helping couples have babies. But I also work with weight loss a lot. Um, I did get my doctorate specialty in weight loss and fertility. So um, I've had people lose up to 100 pounds. Um, I had someone recently uh, lose 35 pounds in seven weeks. We're wow. working towards fertility. I, I do it a lot with the amazing healing power of kitchari, which is an amazing, amazing food from India. And my wife Gretchen swears by it, and, by the way. And his wife uses it all the time. And you can customize it for your body type using different foods, uh, as we're talking about with those elements, to figure out what you need for you. This is a great book. You can get it off Amazon. I also encourage the chi yoga videos that people can do for common ailments. And my wife does those too, by and the way. For common ailments, so that you can do acupressure, yoga, and qigong on yourself to help heal yourself at home if you can't get into the office. So Shasta, what, there's a functional and integrative medicine. Is there any difference, or what is what is that all about? Well, um, functional medicine includes um, doing um, actual testing with the body uh, while having supplements in your mouth to see, let's say... Oh, like the, a strength thing. Uh, it's, it can no, be that, no. or like what I do is I actually use blood pressure cuff to check the the tonacity or the pressure that your body can take without the calcium, and then how much it can take with the calcium to see if your body actually needs that. And um, same with blood pressure, checking the adrenal functions through uh, supine blood pressure readings and standing blood pressure readings. It, so functional means seeing how your body is functioning while using exam. We also use blood tests, saliva tests, stool tests. Um, so it's so a much a more. There's a lot of Western medicine. There's involved. a lot of Western okay. medicine. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. And we, as doctors of acupuncture, do take a lot of Western medicine to become uh, primary care providers in California. A lot more than you would think. Right. So we we are you know we do get a lot of training in that. And functional nutrition is uh, using nutrition in a functional way where we actually take uh, blood tests or saliva tests before we give the nutrition uh, supplements and we pre prescribe a, a nutrition protocol and after. And then we actually see if it worked. So, so it, it's it's really progressive. So it's not quackery like they it's used to say. You guys have a connection to what the Western medicine is all about. We do. You just kind of go to that extra level. That's why I call it 3D. Yeah. Right? You take and that extra level. We are primary care providers, so we can bill insurance as a primary physician uh, in California. So people can come to us, and we can um, we can you know, fill out their, their diagnosed, diagnostic codes and, and charge them with the um, CPT codes and, and people can get reimbursed by their insurance, et cetera. Huh. And I think the reason why is because we actually help keep people well. And we actually help reverse things that, that they weren't able to get help with anywhere else. And, sure and that's what makes integrative medicine. And it, okay. The combination of Western medicine and Oriental or Chinese medicine is ideal. Right. And I think the insurance companies have caught on to this. Yeah. I mean, you know, how do you make money in an insurance company? Well, you charge premiums, but you also don't have to pay out, you know, you, you don't want to pay out so much. We help save them money. Yes. I mean, I just had a guy in uh, last week who had a very bad injury on his uh, forearm, his wrist here, and nothing was fixing it. And I did needles one time. And the pain is 80% gone. There was nothing else he could find to do that for for him. And, I mean, that's going to save a lot of money down the road. Right. And it's just because we unblocked the scar tissue, we got the blood to flow, and we got the regular motion of the body back. Well, thank God the insurance companies, you guys out there, have figured this out. Because, you know what? Thank God. Health is so important. Health I mean, is our wealth. You know, we're, we're in the wealth business, and yeah. it's the family, health, and wealth. I mean, yeah. those are the three, you know— building blocks of what a happy life is about. It is. And we have to thank Governor Jerry Brown for having uh, legalized acupuncture in the 1970s and right. recently made it one of the top 10 health care necessities for Californians. So um, 
I'm very grateful. I've been doing this for, gosh, 25 years now. Yeah. I started my studies actually when I was 18, so it's been about 31 years. I've treated about 60,000 different patients' visits, and, um, and I'm even more excited now than I ever was. We're actually going to be right back with one of your clients. Yes. Talking to it, how great it works great. You're watching Your Healthy Living. I do traditional Chinese medicine, and that includes five different branches. Acupuncture, massage, yoga, tai chi, qigong, herbal medicine, and nutrition. It is amazing in helping the body heal itself, and that it releases the body's natural endorphins, serotonin, and seems to rebalance the hormones of the body. Lower back pain was taken care of very quickly. Six treatments and I was pain free. And this was like three years ago and I've remained pain free. I've grown up in the Bay Area and I have had my own practice for over 15 years. When I was 12, I decided I want to be an acupuncturist and by the time I was 25, I was licensed. You know, I have thyroid condition and stress big time. When I walk out, I'm feeling like a whole different person. It's definitely a blessing to be able to come here. I love helping women have babies and the day that they actually get pregnant the look in their eye is like it's the best thing ever. I've been struggling trying to get pregnant for the past three or four years. I came to Shasta. I would totally recommend her to any, anyone out there that is trying to get pregnant. She will do great for you. Way of Wellness has to do with living a life that keeps us well. Hi there, this is Alexander with It's All About the Show. You know, I've been with Money Concepts since 1994, and they have been the primary catalyst for my success as a financial advisor. If you're looking for a career change and you want to help people for a living, check out moneyconcepts.com slash A-L-E-E -E, or call 946-8378 today. Hey there, everybody. My name's Alex Andrew. And I'm Dr. Shasta. And we're back with another episode of Your Healthy Living here in wonderful San Jose, California. Yep. And we're talking with Dr. Shasta about Dr. Shasta. We're talking about way of wellness, natural health care. Yes. And acupuncture and all that fun acupuncture stuff. Acupuncture and oriental medicine. And yeah. um, actually, really, it's, it's what I consider natural medicine. It is the oldest form of medicine, and it just puts health care back in people's own hands. Yes. And uh, that's where it belongs. We need to know how to take I care of totally ourselves. I totally believe that. You know, like, just sitting there waiting for somebody to tell you something about, oh, you need to take this. I'm yeah, like, I mean, I by the time you usually figure out something's wrong with the Western doctor, something's really wrong. Whereas if you go to a Chinese medicine acupuncturist, we can tell sooner, looking, checking tongue, Looking at feeling your pulse, signs and symptoms that tell us what organ symptoms might systems might be out of balance before it would actually show up as a disease in Western medicine. That's what's awesome about Chinese medicine. I think it's more of a like a three D approach as opposed to a two D approach. And you know, like I say, there's nothing wrong with Western medicine at all. We have to have it. The integration is is wonderful. That's what I think. And I think everybody should have key. a team. They should have a chiropractor, an acupuncturist, an MD, a a massage therapist, do Tai Chi or yoga, um, uh, meditation, you know, I think we need to have a, a team. And I think there's a generation out there that just poo-pooed the whole thing and think that, that you know, it, it, uh, Eastern medicine is quack, quackery. Yeah, which and, is and I think way that that's bad. finally passed. I, I think hope people so. I realize it's important. you got to give it a shot. And we have one of my best friends on today. Hi, Kanisha. Hello. Hi, Kanisha. Kanisha uh, works at Massage Envy and oh, really? actually helps uh, lots of people get natural health care. And she um, has a passion for this and has, she is a amazing and remarkable. She's a mother of six children. Oh my God. And she has been bringing her children to acupuncturists and massage for many, many years. Wow. And and she gets it herself, and I have treated her and her family. I love them. They're all wonderful. So, Kanisha, thanks for coming. Thank you for inviting me. What do you want to share about why you would bring your family in to a, a doctor of acupuncture? I think um, for my family, we have a myriad of things that we're dealing with, whether it's depression or ADHD, anxiety, uh, PCOS, injury, headaches. Um, so I think coming to see you, my entire family can be treated. It's We can come for one visit. You can see all of us and all of our ailments are being treated. Um, and they actually really like you. They like coming. They ask if they can go see you if it's not their turn. Yeah. Um, and that's really good because, you know, sometimes if you have an injury, you need to be seen more often or you have certain pains uh, different times. 
So it's been really great because you're the way you are with them, they want to come. It's not like, come on, let's go. Yeah. So. And, you know, it's really awesome that she brings her children to an acupuncture doctor because you would think, oh, that's just for adults. But really, it's great to start with the children when they're younger. I would think that the kids are scared of needles, though, aren't they? Or weren't they initially? Uh, actually, no. I mean, we had been they're doing really massage t- they're really for tough. Uh, probably before we saw Shasta, maybe about a year I want to say Mm -hmm. consistently we're going once a week probably. And um, when I talked to them about it, they were kind of like, what are you asking us to do? And I said, no, 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 this is great. Like you barely feel it. You, all your aches and pains go away. And they just, they just embraced it because it it was just something new. So, and then, and now they, they beg me for, they love it. (laughs) And, and they should, because it is so relaxing. It is, it is even more relaxing than massage in my opinion. Um, and they I, know, I love a good massage. They love it because, you know, you put you get the needles in and then you have about, you know, 10 needles in and all the main uh, stress points of your body and someone goes out of the room and you and you're left there to just totally relax without anybody in the room and and you feel like I always tell my patients, okay, you get to float away now. And um, and it does release natural opiates and endorphins and feel good hormones, as well as adenosine, which makes people sleepy, increases oxygen metabolism, makes people lose weight, and and it helps um, balance the endocrine hormones of the body. And there really is almost nothing I know as powerful as acupuncture for down regulating the nervous system, so the body can get back into that place of healing itself. And children respond very very well. And a lot of children are suffering from depression and anxiety right now. Uh, teen suicide is, is the number two leading cause of teen death in America. And it's a, it's a devastation to anybody to lose a child. And I think that if we can get the children in sooner for stomach ailments, for allergies, for ear infections, for um, anxiety and depression and ADHD, we can make a big impact yeah, and I can see why a lot of people from the old school would say, well, wait a minute, how can that work? But now that you know society is, is an understanding that we're energy, we are all energy beings, energy has to flow. And if something gets cut off, you know, it, that light's not going to turn on if you, if you chop that one wire that's going. And that's basically what acupuncture does, right? It's kind of turn the, those. It gets everything flowing. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, know that's great. And, and, and it also gives people a sense of hope because when they get that peaceful feeling naturally without a drug, they come out of it with a sense of hope that, that they want to start taking better care of themselves because they feel like they just, they, like they just touched a, a piece or God, or higher power, or whatever you want to call it. And in that space, when you feel that, you all of a sudden have more hope, and then you make healthier choices. That's what I find, and that's what my patients say. So, um, and and your children, they love it. They do. Yeah. Especially Mia. She's oppositional. She has oppositional defiant disorder. So she actually falls asleep and is wakes up very refreshed. And it's a noticeable difference. Yeah. A noticeable difference. And a child who has oppositional tends to want to do their own thing. And they kind of, they, they lead the way. And for her to lead her way in a positive way, that says something. Yeah. Children, it, it, I know I have six kids, but just being around other children my daughter is very uh, strong-willed, and, and she's strong-willed and says, hey, when are we going to Shasta's house? Are we yeah. going to the clinic? Can I go? And then she goes there. She, you know, gets a treatment. She falls asleep. She wakes up refreshed. It's just, it's amazing. So it how is. often it works do really you have well. to do acupuncture? Um, you I know, mean. I I you can see someone every six weeks. When, when someone is in a more, if their issue is on a, a scale of one to ten. If it's above a five, they come three times a week for a month to uh, rebalance the hormones, rebalance the body, and 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 re um, reset it really. Because we get into a certain state, and the body thinks that's normal. And when we downregulate, calm, 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 calm. It's used for hypertension also, um, very, very well, very effectively. Um, when we calm it uh, three times a week for a month, it stays at that state. And at that state. You don't have to come as much. Kind of like chiropractic. they got to adjust it, and the muscles keep pulling it back out until the muscles get used to that new adjustment. Exactly. And, yeah. Uh, and we do use it in conjunction with chiropractic and with uh, physical therapy. Um, actually, the studies have shown that it works better and faster than physical therapy and chiropractic. Um, workers comp uh, did not put a limit on us when they, when they um, evaluated everything. 
because they found that we got people better faster um, and cheaper than the other modalities. I would think more insurance companies, and they never, they didn't used to cover it for years, Most right? Most all of them do now. Um, at Governor Jerry Brown um, wrote us into the 10 essential health care uh, medicines that needed to be covered um, by employees, employers about, I think, eight years ago. Okay. So, you know, now a lot of people do have acupuncture benefits and they may not even know it. My technique is very gentle. It's gentle because I'm also a needle wimp. <laughs> I've been getting this since I was a kid and it was my primary care form of health care as I grew up. Um, and so I have a very, very gentle technique. I cater to wimps. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll have to go now. <laughs> exactly, Andy. <laughs> right. So I just, uh, I have other patients who have used it for depression and weight loss and natural pain relief and been able to get off the opioids um, mm -hmm. naturally. Oh, so a drug addiction. Uh-huh. And really... even cigarette addiction and sugar addiction. Sugar addiction is a that. huge problem right now yes, with the huge. obesity epidemic and severe arthritis and high cholesterol and thyroid and... Um, autoimmune ailments where the body's attacking itself. Chinese medicine can reestablish establish harmony so the body stops uh, damaging itself. Wow. It's used for longevity and rejuvenation and for athletic performance. It is really the wellness care of America. So what's your, um, if, if somebody wanted to call and get an appointment at your office, it would be 408 615 1995. And my website is wayofwellness.com. And um, I have a lot of videos out there that people can use to help heal themselves, like chi yoga videos. Um, and written the book, The Amazing Healing Power of Kitchery, that people could use to eat in the uh, medicinal it's, food and it's with the seasons. It's actually really good, by it's, the way. We use you. it in tacos. We had it in a spaghetti thing yeah. with some kale and uh, sweet potato greens the other night. And it's it is. really it's good wonderful. stuff. Yeah. I mean, I, I tell you what, I feel healthier just from eating. Well, Gretchen was eating it every day. Yeah, um, which is are great. Are you supposed to? Yes, you are. When you are dealing with a major immune issue, people eat it every day, and they reverse a lot of ail ish ailments and diseases. Wow. It's okay. really powerful. The what, what's your phone number again? 408-615-1995. Well, thanks. You've been watching Your Yay. Healthy Living on the KIYS Video Web Radio Network, the Kindness in Your Soul Network. Don't forget to check out our website at KIYSradio.com. Or check us out on Facebook. Like us. Give us a few stars. Say hello. We love you all. Take Thank care. You.